Boom. And stop. 52 minutes and 46 seconds. Okay. And look, am I making this up? Is this clickbait? I don't think so. All right. So here we have the template we're going to be using and we'll go over it as I make changes to it. So the concept is that it's one phrase, one image, any kind of design that has one phrase and one image use this template for and show you how to make quick changes. All right. So without further ado, let's put on the timer and get right to it. Shall we? Let's go. All right. So first thing I'm going to change, don't worry, be happy. All right, now, every time we hit save, it is going to take a while because it's updating. I don't know how many smart objects. There's got to be at least a thousand, if I'm being honest, in these uh, these templates. And then once that's done, let's go check it. So now it says, don't worry, be happy everywhere. And now we just got to change our smart image. And we're going to put our cool, cool capybara with sunglasses. And then we're going to hit control S. And now we got this guy to deal with. And it's going to update these smart objects. What I'm going to do after that is go through each design and just see if there's any kind of adjustments that I have to make before ultimately saving them all. And there we go. So now I'm going to go through our designs one by one and see what we got going. So we got uh, don't worry, be happy for this one. I feel like I want to change the gradient. So that's the same color as the cappy. That's good to go. Let's check our second one. It says, don't worry, be happy. You got the thunder in the background. It's like, you know, a bootleg design. I'm going to keep it in purple. Let me see if, uh, if I take off. Oh, actually, I think it'll keep. I think it's good like that. Let me take off the knockout. Yeah, I think that works like that. So I want to keep that one like that. This one, I think that works with that. I'm not going to change anything. I'm a, I, I like purple. Purple sells a lot for me. So I'm a fan of purple. Uh, this looks good. Vintage. Leave this as it is. No need to make any change there. Then we got our wave text. I like it. Not going to change anything there. Don't worry. Be happy. I'm going to just bring them down to get rid of these gaps in the trees. And that looks good to me. All right. Maybe get them over to the right a little bit. And there we go. This one right here is experimental, but hey, it looks fine. I'm going to keep it that way. Uh, I like this one. We're going to bring them down to the solid one and that looks good there i actually like this with the gradient i'm a fan i think i'm gonna keep that that way then of course we have tie-dye and what i'm just gonna do is bring them over to the right a little bit i think uh get his whiskers in there yeah get a little more even and that's it that should be good. So here we got another one. Brown matches him. I'm happy with it. Here we got more of a colorful one while he's still brown. I'm going to keep it that way. Don't see anything wrong with this either. I like it. The vintage retro colors. Same thing here. He has the pastel colors instead. I'm going to keep that. Same thing with this one. I think I'll keep it with the pastel colors. The option would be maybe for one of these, I'll go ahead and yeah, give it like a, actually, I like that. It's like a teal. We'll test that out. All right, now we got a beautiful, colorful Warhol design. This is always a hit. Looks very good. All right, we got a rip reveal. Now, what I'm going to do in this one is make it so you can see him fully. So we're going to make sure you can see how cool he looks. And that should be good. All right, for this one, I think it's going to work. It has the... uh same colors as the you know pastel colors going on and this one we're gonna bring him down a little bit so he's not even touching it like an 80s retro i like it i'm keeping it and then here i'm gonna keep them overlapped over there and that's you know more of the vintage style then we have our classic evolution i'm gonna go ahead and just bring him down so he looks like he's you know sitting on this thing and laying on it and i think that's pretty good uh, don't worry, be happy. And then we got our vintage guy. I think that looks good as is. Maybe the most I'm going to do here is. And this is a basic classic rip reveal. That's fine the way it is. And then a pocket rip reveal. And of course, last but not least, we got our distressed American flag. Once again, I like the color purple. 
Um, maybe we'll keep him more natural on this one. Um, color overlay and just get to be the same color once again as our Cappy. And that'll work out for me. Okay, so now that they're all the way I want them, these are 25 designs. Now, in order to get 25 designs actually done, what we're going to do is take off our background. And now they all have that transparent background. And this is the fun part. So this is going to take a while. But we're going to export artboards to files and we're going to run. And now what it's going to do is going to go one by one. So because we have 25 designs, this might actually take a second to where we at seven minutes and 30 seconds. And let's see how long it takes to do 25 of these. And we're good. There's our 25th one. All right. So when we come here, everything was done successfully. All right, let's not waste any time and let's get right back to the next design. So that was about 1130. So it takes about four and a half minutes to do uh, each output. Now let's try this again. Resist fascism with the penguin. That's what it was. So we got resist fascism. I'm going to save that. Now we're also going to change this guy right here. I'm going to hit control S to save. Okay, so let's see what we got. And we got to make some uh, changes to some of these, right? So let's start. Going to the first one, I'm going to change this gradient to match my penguin. I think I'm going to go with this orange. Yeah, that works for me. So this one, it looks kind of wonky. We're going to go ahead and whoop, change that to uh, that. Then we got our basic. Resist fascism, XXL. Uh, you know what? Kind of like this. Kind of like that. Okay, we're going to keep it like that. All right, then we got our basic resist fascism. I like that. Keep it out the way it is. Looks good to me. We're going to do a color overlay. Orange from him. Got to get our penguin centered, right? This works. This works the way it is. Let's bring him up above the resist fascism. This works for me. This works for me. This works for me. This works for me. This one works for me. This one works. And then this one got to come up a little bit. I don't know about that color. Let's see what, what we got going on here. Okay, that's better without it. That looks good right there. All right, this one never fails. Let's bring him down so you can see his fist. That works. All right. Uh, this one looks like you got to come down a little bit. That works. That works. That works. All right. We just got to move my man right here because that now works. That works. Our guy here. That works. Our guy over here. That works. And last but not least, I think we can go back to that orangey color. And there we go. That works for me. All right. Everything's good to go. And we already know the drill. Take off the background. Export artboards to files. That's the one we want here. All right. Transparency. Yes, yes. And let's go and then hit run. All right. So we got those then. Now we're going to go on to our next design mama goose and that actually fit perfectly in there so we're just going to hit control less there's your mama goose hit control less now we're going to go back and uh, nudge a few things let's start one by one for this i definitely want to do a different color on the gradient let's add that blue right so we definitely want to get that blue on the gradient then for the circle it's going to now match with that so that works out there. Uh, I'm comfortable with this. Let's see what we got going on on the. We're going to change this stroke color to a color from Mama Goose. That should work. That makes that one good to go. All right. This is looks kind of crazy. Not a fan of this. This I'm good with the colors on that one, actually. All right. So here we're going to get another color overlay from mama goose so that works for me um experimental one i think we're gonna make this all one color let's keep that blue that's what we're doing 
All right, with this one, we're going to keep it the same. We're going to give her that vintage style behind her. That's better. I'm going to keep it like that. Uh, for this one, I think we're going to be better off giving it a main color like that, nice and purple. Good to go. Come down here, and I feel like we're going to have to get a color overlay from Mama Goose once again. And maybe that works. Maybe the white one works. I think the white one or the green one. Let's go with the white. We're going to go with this off-white color. That works. I think on this one, we're going to go with a full color. We're going to go with the blue for Mama Goose. This one, I'm going to keep it vintage. I don't know. Does that make sense? I don't know if it does. I don't think it does. A pink Mama Goose. And then on this one, we're going to go with uh, a blue background. This one, I think we're going to do the same thing. I just My Mama Goose isn't matching, in my opinion, with anybody else. All right, get a teal color going. We haven't done anything like that. Mama Goose got to get censored, or is that censored already? That's censored. Oh, she's censored there too, all right? We got a Warhol. That's a never failer. Right here, we're going to keep her with the vintage. It just kind of has that vibe. Here, we're going to keep that vibe going. And yeah, there, we're going to keep it. And here we're going to keep it. And then here we're just going to move Mama Goose over a little bit. That seems right to me. Right here we need Mama Goose to be uh, slightly smaller. So you can see the whole Mama and the whole Goose. This one, pretty basic. Rip Reveal. Another one, basic Rip Reveal. We can go up a little bit. And then, of course, the American flag. So we're going to go to color overlay, and we're going to hit that blue. Boom. All right. And there we go. Yet another one. Take off the background, and here we go again. I'm going to back up. I'm going to go to file, export artboards to files. All right. All done. And last but not least, we're going to do one last one to get to our 100 joints. And what we're going to do is we're going to do talk derby to me. That's right. Talk derby to me. That's what we're going to do here. So we got our horse. We're going to hit control S. Then we're going to go and put talk derby to me. Ooh, talk derby to me. All right. Let's see what we got. For the first one, what I'm going to do is definitely get a gradient from the horse that's a no-brainer we got to do that right this one we're going to i think in this case best thing to do is we're going to go straight white with this one all right so this one's going to be just pure white i think it's better that way this one i think what we're going to do is a knockout yeah that's a better look i think because this photograph is not the greatest let's be honest but, you know, it's what you do when you're trying to hurry up. But this definitely has to get a color overlay going. There we go. So color overlay for that one. I think for this one, it's time to use a knockout. Yeah, nice and big on there. Horse touching the ground. He's not floating on the moon. All right, with this one, honestly, not sure what to do here. Let's, uh, I'll just leave it as, as it is. All right, so with this one, I think a knockout might be the way to go for this one. Yeah. With the stroke around it, that works better in my opinion. This one, I'm going to leave as is. In this case, we're going to try it that way. And then I think on Talk Derby to me, we're going to turn that into a knockout as well black or red or whatever so that's gonna stay like that i think this is gonna be better with a color overlay i think a uh, smart thing to do in this case and then the overall color i probably uh good to go good to go and we're gonna keep that one as is with the colors purple this one i think uh i'm gonna keep this as is too all right this one never fails good to go and move them over to the left. 
Yeah, I think that's the best bet because it just kind of does it does something better, I think, than uh hmm. I think black is better actually. So that one's gonna be like that. That works for that. I'm gonna just turn that one off. I just don't think it's it's gonna look good. So I think all of these, I'm gonna just turn it off and just keep the text. Yeah. These are gonna be text only. All right, this guy, we got to transform him. Boom. So that guy's good there. We're going to go ahead and say this guy's good too. Get him around there. Then we got these, which are easy. If I just found a better image, I could fix all these quickly. But for the sake of the video, I just realized I didn't like this image. <laughs> All right, so for this one, we're going to just definitely, I think this is going to be better off as a silhouette as well. Colobole, yeah, that's better. So here we go. Let's do it again. That one's ready to go. Last batch. Let's uh, artboard the files. And run. Boom. And stop. 52 minutes and 46 seconds. I right, hold up. Okay. And look, am I making this up? Is this clickbait? I don't think so. I don't think this is clickbait. All right. This actually works. 100 designs in 52 minutes and 46 seconds. This is a pro template that's meant for Photoshop designers. Unfortunately, this will not work in PhotoP. If you do want a copy of this, it's free. In less than an hour's time, I got 100 designs. I put this in my uploader. I use flying upload to upload and boom, and let it do what it does, you know? So I hope y'all got some value out of this and y'all could see, you know, this obsession that I have with doing all these things. You know, it's just basically what I love to do. So, you know, but like I said, if this has helped you, please like and subscribe and uh, look up for keywords coming next. See you on the next one.